how are you today? We will be talking about something that was raised to my attention. First, somebody said under one of my videos in uh, Polish language, Grace, you wouldn't make a good politician. So we're going to be speaking about this. And the second part is about the weapons. Guns. What I think about this, that's what uh, somebody in Poland asked me. But first, when I heard I wouldn't make a good politician, <laughs> it made me actually stop and think, hmm, what makes a good politician? And would I ever like to be a call, you know, called politician? And I raised this uh, issue on uh, my Facebook and um, you know we're all kind answers so I looked um, on quotes quotes about politician politicians quotes um, uh, George Bernard Shaw says he knows nothing the politicians he knows nothing and he thinks he knows everything that points clearly to a political career. Politicians were mostly people who had too little morals and ethics to stay lawyers. Um, I remain just one thing and one thing only and that is a clown. It places me on a far higher plane than any politicians. And of course we're talking many, many, many. Robin Williams, for example, says politics. Poly a Latin word means many and thicks, meaning blood-sucking creatures. Uh, and then finally, this is a good one. The country is controlled by laws. Laws are controlled by politicians. Politicians are controlled by voters. The voters are controlled by public opinion. Public opinion is controlled by the media, like news, Hollywood, internet, and education. So, whoever controls media and education controls the country. And the other thing is, it's, it's also interesting, um, they want us to be afraid. They want us to be afraid of leaving our homes. They want us to barricade our doors and hide our children. Their aim is to make us fear life itself. They want us to hate. They want us to hate the other. They want us to practice aggression and perfect antagonism. Their aim is to divide us all. They want us to be inhuman. They want us to throw out our kindness. They want us to bury our love and burn our hope. Their aim is to take all our light. Um, and we're going further and further, but um, it finally says, they are so ignorant, they, didn't, they don't understand that my soul and your soul are old friends. They are so ignorant, they don't understand that when they cut you, I bleed. They are so ignorant, they don't understand that we will never be afraid, we will never hate, and we will never be silent. For life is ours. Isn't this powerful? So, in this light, um, um, I say thank you to somebody who uh, says, um, <laughs> I wouldn't make a good politician. Oh, it's sad, it's sad. Um, but it goes beautifully with the other part in regard to um, the guns. You see, between guns and roses, which I already made a video about that, I choose roses. This actually have even no thorns, nothing. They're just wonderful. I choose roses because roses symbolizes love, romance, happiness, joy. That's why we are on this planet. And 
I don't know if you ever watched any videos about uh, the festival of weapons. They actually have them when the generals from all the countries go there and admire the guns, the all kinds of stuff. I watched the video, I just couldn't believe it. We're talking billions, billions of dollars. And uh, who is paying for it? The taxpayers, you and me. Doesn't matter what country you are living in, okay? We're all paying for it. Now, follow the money. Who is really profiting from this? So, I want to go back to the time of Lemuria. Around 26,000 years ago, they had no weapons. You know, they disappeared because they went to a higher dimension. They had no weapons, they had no wars, um, they didn't believe in hatred. They loved each other, they helped each other. They didn't need money either because they lived with love and passion for what they've been doing towards each other. So if I'm a gardener, I just love, and it happens to be true, I love roses and I love gardening, I would provide, let's say, flowers, somebody else bread, somebody else um, um, a nice clothing, a nice shoes, whatever. We all have different gifts and talents. So we chip in and we make one wonderful community. Wouldn't you rather live there than um, in a time of uh, the third dimension basically? What's going on right now? No? It depends on what you choose. You see, third dimension is dense, heavy, and dark. Fear, because that's why people buy those weapons. <laughs> the greed, right? Um, that's third dimension. Fourth is awakening. We're awakening to our truth. The heck with that nonsense. We would rather be surrounded with the beautiful flowers and love and feeling good about ourselves, others, and what we're doing in our lives. That we're not wasting it, we're enjoying it. And with this, you already in a fifth dimension. 5D. So the choice is yours. I'm choosing 5D and beautiful roses. What do you will choose? Many kisses, many hugs. And until we meet again.